Today, I attempt to trade for Derrick Henry in every Madden since he's entered the league. He was a 79 overall as a rookie. Maybe if we throw in a young wide receiver, they need an outside linebacker, so we can throw in 84 overall Paul. And also, if we go in and throw in who was our young stud quarterback at the time, Blake Bortles submit this through for rookie Derrick Henry, and it's not even halfway. Imagine how hard he's gonna be to trade for when he's a 97 overall. And to make matters even worse, if I'm unable to trade for Derrick Henry in one of the Maddens, I have to give away my signed Derrick Henry jersey that I've had his entire career. And that would suck because at this point, I really don't have any jerseys that mean anything to me anymore. And in every Madden, we're actually gonna let this wheel decide what team trades for Derrick Henry. And in Madden number one is going to be the Atlanta Falcons. And it is absolutely imperative that for every trade today, we trade away the bare minimum possible. So they need a defensive tackle. We have a few that we could possibly trade away. Rashid Hageman, 78 overall. That could be a decent start. Green interest submitted through. It is accepted just like that. And for each team that trades for Derrick Henry, we're going to send him to the next year and see how he does with his new team. The backup quarterback had more rushing attempts than Derrick Henry. Like, what are you talking about, Dan? Hey, a nine-win season isn't that bad. Derrick Henry's Falcons did get knocked out in the wild card round, though. And that's important because if just one of these teams with Derrick Henry wins a Super Bowl, that also saves me from having to give away my prized Derrick Henry jersey. King Henry is now five overall higher than DeMarco Murray. New Madden, which means a new wheel, and just don't give me somebody in the AFC South. I think that would make me throw up. Oh no! Oh man, that's horrible memories. Congrats, Bengals. So somehow from swapping to the Bengals, Derrick Henry's overall has dropped, which is kind of ironic, you know? Although, be it this was before they had Joe Burrow, so maybe an Andy Dalton for Derrick Henry straight up swap will submit this through and it was declined they still need a defensive tackle we could give away Geno Atkins but we don't want to do that how about our youngster 23 Ryan Glasgow he does have green interest submitted through okay we're actually getting somewhere they need a fullback I was gonna trade a fullback but we don't have any fullbacks we go to the left outside linebacker position which they also need we have a 68 rated Nicholas like with this quiet be enough to be accepted. Oh my god. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere and that's all that matters. They need some cornerbacks. We have a ton of crappy ones. Let's go with the 68 rated. Crazy. This is even close to enough to get an 86 rating. Submitted through and let's welcome Derrick Henry to the dark side. Oh my god. The running back core of dreams. Well, unfortunately, that didn't go too well. At least though, he got more than eight carries. Actually got a thousand yards in his second season. In the next Madden, he basically basically stayed the exact same 86 overall and Dion Lewis was almost the same overall like there's no way these two guys should be the same overall please just don't give me an AFC South team I'll just never be able to forgive myself the Bengals were tough enough to do it and Derek's gonna have to go to the Broncos Broncos country Let's rock. It's not like this team was a powerhouse or anything. With him being an 86 and not over a 90 yet, it shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. Like, what about a straight swap? Philip Lindsay for Derrick Henry. There's just no way the Titans would be stupid enough to accept this, right? Okay. How about the veteran Emmanuel Sanders? He does have green interest in him for Derrick Henry. Straight up swap. And that's about halfway. We actually have a young rookie in Cortland Sutton. So maybe this will be closer since he's actually younger than Emmanuel Sanders. And I think it actually went backwards. So two young rookie studs submit this through and it's not even green yet keep in mind like i know i can just go in and throw away like our first round draft pick but remember we're trying to be as frugal as possible we actually have a fullback and they need a fullback please boys help me hold on to my derrick henry signed jersey oh no that's so anticlimactic you've got to want a guy with the last name but we're gonna submit this through and this is just going in the wrong direction so how about philip Lindsay instead they do need a defensive end we have derrick Eric Wolf that we can trade away. We have Adam Gonsis we can trade away since he's the younger guy. We'll submit this one through. At least it's finally green. How about the other defensive end, Derek Wolf, since he's a higher overall? They are interested, boys. This might be what brings in Derrick Henry to the Broncos, and it is. Oh my god, how are we continuing to get worse? His yards per carry was the highest of his career, but his yards went down. To be fair, like, why'd you give Devontae Booker 130 carries, dude? But still, not even close to 
a Super Bowl to save me. Oh god, Derek's now at 91, so it's actually gonna start to get really hard to trade for this guy. Come on, actually take me out of the AFC for once. Bring Derek Henry to the NFC, and no, dude, he's gonna go to the guy dang Pittsburgh Steelers. After all these years, you feel like they'd eventually get a defensive tackle. We should have a few that we could potentially trade away. We have Javon Hargrave, 81 rated. Like, I don't feel like this should be enough to be accepted, and like, that's promising, but we still have a long ways to go. They could use some offensive linemen, maybe David Castro, maybe Marquise Pouncey, maybe Foster, maybe Villanueva. How about Alejandro Villanueva? They don't even want him. So how about we just go with Marquise Pouncey by chance? They do want the man submit this through, and at least we've got this thing over halfway. So how about we not leave you without a star running back? James Connor, 81 rated, does have yellow interest, but should be enough to at least bring this into the green. Actually, I'm wrong. Big Ben, Marquise Pouncey, Hargrave for Derrick Henry, and at least it's green. Hallelujah! Like, do we actually have to throw away one of our big boys? Like, do we have to get rid of, like, a Cameron Hayward to bring in Derrick Henry? They don't even want him, dude. We'll try it anyway. Submit it through. Yeah, it's going backwards. We'll try something else here, even if it has to be a draft pick. We'll try a round two pick. Submit it through. Ugh. I told you guys it was gonna get more difficult. How about Big Ben instead? Juju Hargrave. I think that's the closest yet. How about these two guys straight up? 91 rated for a 91 rated. Submit this one through. Oh my god. This is where we have to start and get creative. This might actually be the ultimate finesse. Vance Williams, Benny Snell Jr. and a second round draft pick for the potential number one overall pick. Submit this through. It was accepted. Like, just out of curiosity, how close would this be on its own? I mean, it's the number one pick. That really isn't even close to what I thought. So I'm actually kind of discouraged. We'll also go with Juju Smith on top of the number one pick and it's not even green. Boys, I'm actually starting to get extremely nervous because if Hargrave isn't the piece to complete this puzzle, I don't know what to do from here. Ah, oh, it's so close. I'm really struggling for ideas. How about young Stefan to it? They do want him, so we'll try this one. Oh, am I really gonna have to trade away TJ Watt? This might not even be enough. We'll submit it out there. Oh, boys, let me tell you how much I miss Quentin Nelson. Like I said, we're having to get creative. So how about Quentin Nelson, Stefan Tua, and Juju Smith for Derrick Henry? Submit it through. It's just depressing. Bro, that just literally took everything I had. All I care about right now is just making sure I get Derrick. This has got to be enough to bring this man in. It took so much to bring in Fletcher Cox. We'll submit this through. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got the number three overall pick. I really don't know what to do if this doesn't get accepted. And it's going backwards, actually. Bro, I'm just trying to bring in players that they could possibly be interested in. And I think we're getting ourselves George Kittle. Boys, I'm really getting worried that Derrick Henry jersey might no longer be mine. And it's just like, what do I do from here? Well, I didn't think that was gonna get accepted. I mean, Von Miller's not a horrible guy to pick up for value. And still, Von Miller in the top two draft picks isn't enough. Well, I kind of just got Bobby Wagner on accident. So the number one overall pick was pretty easy to get back. But the more trades I make, the more players that I lose. Somehow that was enough to pick up the number two pick in the draft. This has got to be enough for Derrick Henry, right? A 98, 97, 95 overall. Ugh. I'm literally getting rid of this entire team. I'm simming to the beginning of the next season to see if that helps at all. I'm just thinking maybe because Derrick Henry's in the next year of his contract, like that might make it a Mickey Mouse trade, which still works in my book. Juju at least went up and overall, and I'm pretty sure he did get an X Factor, so he should help us out a little bit. What am I supposed to do? So you're telling me this package isn't even halfway? Finally went out and got the number two pick back for like the 76th time. So I'm starting to pick up on the theme that this game loves wide receivers. I tried for everybody, and the highest I could get was Odell Beckham Jr. Oh my god, dude, we're so close. See what I'm saying, dude? Like Odell, Bobby Wagner, and a first overall pick for the Devontae Adams and is not even green. Wait a minute. Why the frick is Amari Cooper a free agent? Don't mind if I do. Two wide receivers and the number 
one overall pick. It's so close. I'm advancing to the next season. I'm trying everything possible. I've been sat on this Madden for over an hour because I'm committed to not losing my jersey. Well, uh, I guess it might help that he's not even on the team anymore. I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing. Bro, why did the Bengals sign him? They already have 99 rated CMC. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise, though. Maybe because he's not the starter, he makes the trade easier. Well, how about Odell Beckham Jr. straight up for Derrick Henry? Boys! I have never been so happy, so freaking happy to get off a stupid game. Dumb company! Dumb billion dollar company! That's so funny, dude. At least he got a thousand yards again. Dude, now he's a 95. Please give me a good team so I have a lot of good players I can trade away. How am I supposed to do this with the Lions? Oh my, with him being a 95, I'm really gonna be here for forever. I'm just gonna start off by trading my top three rated players. We'll submit this into the universe that's actually so promising. Why does it seem easier now that he went up five overall? Like if we literally just took Kenny Galladay out of this deal and just threw in our first round selection, is this enough to be accepted? Let's go! The Lions are actually good for something. Can we please make the playoffs just one time? At least he had another decent season. In Madden 22, Derrick Henry's up to a 97 overall, which judging by recent history means he probably should be easier to trade for. Please, anybody better than the Lions, just give me some talent to trade away and we're gonna get the 49ers. We should have a ton of talent to ship on Shrew Williams. We have George Kittle. We have Fred Warner. We can trade away literally any of these guys. How about just George Kittle straight up for Derrick Henry. Submit it through and just like that it was accepted. I just don't understand how one game could be so much different than the next. We've officially traded for Derrick Henry in every Madden he's ever been in and thank God the signed jersey saved. And if you thought Derrick Henry was hard to trade for if you click this video right here, you'll get to see me trade for Patrick Mahomes in every match. Imagine how hard that was.